Today's high watt soundbite is in Simlish. Well, I was doing some maintenance in the tape vault last week and I stumbled across this nugget. Check this thing out. That song brings back some great memories. That's Deep Swell by the Humble Brothers. Traz and I were commissioned to put that track together over 15 years ago for the video game Sims 2. Oh man, over the years, Traz and I contributed a huge amount of music to the video game industry, particularly the Sims franchise. What an unbelievably popular franchise this was. I think The Sims 2 sold like 13 million plus copies or something. Yeah, and as a whole, I think that franchise moved over 100 million units or something. So we're talking about a hugely popular video game. So for today's session, we're gonna do a bit of a breakdown on this track, but before I get into that, I have to share a little bit of an Easter egg about this song and something I've never revealed before. This song, Deep Swell, very typically for Traz and I made up part of a, a contract where we were under contract to maybe do three or four songs for that particular game, right? Well, knowing that this industrial track was on the calendar, I just kept pushing it because it's my comfort zone, right? That's gonna be the most comfortable place I can be is writing an industrial track for a video game. Very typically, I worked on a lot of the stuff that was sort of not in my comfort zone throughout most of the contract period. And of course, I just kept pushing this off and pushing it off. Well, I remember waking up on a Saturday morning where the contract for those three or four songs was due Monday. And this industrial song, I hadn't even started yet. And it's like Saturday morning. Well, I remember just pulling out all the stops and throwing this thing together. And I think by the end of Saturday night, really quite late, I had a really solid version of this track together, the instrumental version. Well, under contract, this song required vocals and they weren't just any vocals, this is The Sims. So any vocal that we put to this track had to be in what's called Simlish, which is sort of a proprietary language that really is no language at all. It's just a bunch of gibberish. As a producer, you go in and you produce vocals just like you would on a record, except there's no lyrical content. The actual lyrics are just a bunch of gibberish. Well, I remember very clearly walking out that Sunday morning, going into the studio and putting up that industrial track and listening to that instrumental mix and just kind of freaking out going, man, what are you gonna do? It's Sunday and you don't even have a vocal on this thing. Well, what do you think I did? I mean, I'm in Los Angeles, I'm producing an industrial track for the Sims franchise and I desperately need a vocalist to be singing on this track. Come on, Ken, this is a no-brainer. I literally picked up the phone and I called Kevin Ogilvie. I called Ogre. And as he has done so many times, Ogre stepped up to the plate. You know, who does that in the 11th hour? Ogre does that, and he's done it more than once. It's unbelievable. Well, so Ogre comes over to the studio and I play him the instrumental. And, and then I explain that we have to do this vocal in Simlish, this weird language that is basically just a bunch of gibberish. Well. I didn't have to school Ogre for half a second. Unbelievably, he just walked out to the vocal booth and sort of nailed it. So I had to share that little Easter egg. And I think people always had their suspicions, but until today, I never revealed that that was actually Ogre singing on this track, Deep Swell, and he just killed it. So let's get into this thing. You know, Simlish, this whole business of singing a bunch of gibberish, check out what Ogre got up to in this first verse. In a scroll, in a ten of a store, in a jolly love, I show us if I didn't want you know. Yeah, sort of scary that I didn't have to school Ogre in any way on this whole Simlish thing. Check out what he did in the chorus. I chill out. Oh, 
And that's my own vocal answering ogre in the chorus. You know, in a million years, I never would have guessed I'd be doing a duet with ogre. Yeah, that's the result of the 11th hour, 100%. Yeah, while we're here at the chorus, I'm going to solo up a few tracks. Check out this vibe. Yeah, absolutely love that sort of push guitar thing going on in the first half and then just straight up riff for the second half. And check out this track called Diver. I'm just filter sweeping my virus going through a bunch of delays. Check it. Yeah, nothing particularly special about that track except that it's so effective on the downbeat of these verses and the decay of it kind of almost lasting throughout the whole verse. Really, really cool. Sort of synthesized Ogre's vocal with that vocoder sound, right? That sort of robot thing going on. Really, really cool. Eyes. Now, speaking of the virus, I used an epic stock sound from this synth for the breakdown of this section. I think they called it pitchy. That's what I'm calling the track. And it is such a great sound. It's like this fat kick drum with all this extra goo on it. So cool. And of course, this track comes from my Revox era, right? This old tape echo machine that I had that I absolutely have to dig out and rebuild because that thing sounds classic. Check it. And coming out of this breakdown, we arranged kind of an eight bar groove section where I'm tweaking out on the guitars. And I often do this where I'll send those guitars to my stereo filter, my filter factory, and I'll set it for notch. And then I'll just sit there and tweak as a section like this is going on. Check it. <laughs> Yep, always love that effect on guitars. You know, that kind of manual phaser where you're just tweaking out on a notch filter? Love that. And an offbeat bass for that relentless groove factor. And this main bass sequence is something I get up to all the time. The simple arpeggiated bass part that's feeding heavily into a delay. I'm using the hold function where I'm sort of holding the root note and then just occasionally just kind of picking up the odd note around it, right? And it is so effective and so groovy. I love it. Well, thank you very much for sitting in on today's session. And just for the nostalgia factor, and as a shout out to our hardcore Sims fans, we got to play this track Deep Swell. It's time to rock out on some industrial Sims.
Stop.